All right, looks like they're finally ready. Phil Nguyen on five, and Blackman on six. Here's a stitcher supplier. Going to 19. As soon as the players. Are we going to see another nuts turn one, turn two for for Blackman with uh, Hogak and Hollow Ones hitting the table? Over a Venge Vine, a Grave Crawler, and a Brasking Rootwalla. Cool. I'll pass to you. I'll draw. Yep. Uh, I'll play a Trop. Uh oh. Play Exploration. Yep. I'll play a Bajuka Bog targeting you. I have been bogged. And then I'm going to pass the three cards. Good start. I'll play Hedron Card. Yep. Trigger. All right. Mm -hmm. Flip over two Hogax and a Street Wave of Crackers. OK. All right, there's Hogak. You're welcome, Giancarlo. Happy to support Three Legacy all over the world for you all over the world. Thank you for watching. I recognize you from YouTube. Did you find us on YouTube? Over well, Revenge Vine, Once Upon a Time, and a Misty Rainforest. Okay. Uh, cast Putrid in Trigger Venge Vine. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Big swing coming. Let's right. rebuy this Hogak. I'll tap these. I'll convoke these three and exile these four. Okay. Hit you for four. Yeah, I got a 16. I'll pass. All right. Hogak looking Draw. brutal so far. <sighs> Defensive Haster. Did one of those creatures attack that wasn't supposed to attack? Play first land for turn. Yep. Play second land for turn. Okay. I'm going to waste one of your underground seas. I'm going to have you target the not altered one. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. And then... No, nah, the Vengevine swung. Vengevine swung. Then I'll pass. No effects and upkeep. Uh, you're at 16? Yeah. This is the threshold plus one, plus one A. Um, is this game over already? I'm going to, in your end step, discard this basking root wallow. Sure. Madness. Madness, I say. <laughs> All right, yeah. A little actually, lizard. Um, I'll tap your underground. Not very good. Uh, I will lose two life. Cycle Street Wraith. Cool. Uh oh. Uh, let's move over to combat. Big Swing attack coming here. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. I'm going to crop rotate. Okay. Hmm. What do you got here? What can Phil get with crop rotation that's Good. relevant? Glacial chasm, sacrifice port. Oh, Word. glacial chasm, duh. That's a good one. What does everybody think of this list with uh, trade routes and Valakut exploration? We've seen it on stream before. All right, so Share you get thoughts. to take no damage instead. <laughs> For now. I'll pass. All right. I'll take two. I'm at 14. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. Um... What's up, Perfy? How's it going, Perfy? Jebediah is here. What's up, Jebediah? Welcome, welcome. 
Claudio Felipe says go for Tabby. Yeah, Tabby yeah. would be great. Play a field of the dead, and then I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Perfy. MTG banning is a pro, yeah. Uh, Ryan I'll Fisher joining us next round. For another two lives. Okay. Yeah. Ryan Fisher joining us next round, I meant to say. Uh, I'll play a Pluto Delta. Trigger? Yeah. Mm hmm. Flip over a Hollow One, a Dryad Arbor, and another Hedron Crab. Pretty good. Uh, I'll pass. What does Phil do yeah. about Glacial Chasm, everybody? I'll take four. I'll go to 10. Mm -hmm. I'll draw for 10. Doing great, Perfy. How are two you cards doing? In hand. Uh, pass. Yes, the uh, decks are up in Cardboard Live right now. If you're curious, Phil does have a spicy list. Was able to win round one against Tom Hep, who was on Rainbow Depths. And now we're in round two. Usually beat Glacial Chasm by attacking with Emrakul. Nice. Bolt on Hedron Crab. Pretty good. Yeah, we love Tom too. I was hoping to see more uh, Rainbow Depths in action. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to play an additional game. Just to see more of the deck. Uh, flip over a bunch of one drops. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. And then I'll pass God. Looking at Phil's list right now, trying to figure out how he breaks through this. Uh, uh, chasm. I guess I have to pass. Doesn't look like there's a way. Other than All right. hoping I'll let Phil this whips. Go, and doesn't I'll draw. copy it eventually. And All you right, got it. <laughs> Ah, well, there you go. That's exactly what he needed to happen. All right, looks like players are ready to go. <laughs> Thanks, HC Fox. <laughs> so HC Fox is in the, uh, in no particular order, top three funniest members of chat on 90s MTG. Another one is Perfy. And Force of Phil, who's actually playing right now, might be the other funniest person. All right, exploration to start here for Phil, uh, for Phil to win. Let's tune into the players. Uh, I'm going to cast Once Upon a Time. Yeah. I should just add a channel points thing to start the clock. So every, every round, everybody has to start the clock or else the round just goes on forever. Uh, I'm going to get a stitcher supplier. Okay. Uh, I'm going to crack, crack a polluted delta. Yeah. All right. I'll get me a swap and cast a stitcher. Sounds good. Hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Flip over two hollow ones and a blood gas. Uh, All right. Nice. Could be worse. I'll draw. <laughs> Play first land for turn. Yep. Port. And second land for turn. Yep. I'm going to do life from the loan, <laughs> targeting catacombs. Sure. And then I'll pass. I have effects and upkeep. 
Go for it. <laughs> I'll tap your swamp. Good eight. We got Joe Pishy in the chat tonight, Sai Norna. If you think about it, blood gas is a land creature. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's not a land creature though. It doesn't count. It's not a bingo card. It's not a bingo square. By the way, chat, if and when we hit a bingo and we pick which format to play on Monday, what format would you want to see? Let me know in chat. What format would you want to see on Monday Night Stream? And don't say different <laughs> ban list 1994 vintage or anything like that. Got a 16. We got to have the cards for it. 16. All right. Got a drop. One sir, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Then I'll cast Uro. Okay. Alright, there's Uro. Alright, so I'll draw a card. Um I'll put a land into play, which is okay. Thespian stage, and then I'll gain three and go to nineteen. Then I'll pass the turn, and I've effects and upkeep. This <laughs> one, HC Fox, with the nightmare answer for what format should we play on Monday? Thank you, HC Fox. Uh, I'll crack this polluted delta. Yep. No banless modern says the expedition map. What would be the what would be the deck that you would want to see played in that format? Pre Innistrad Legacy. I see so many people talking about Pre Innistrad Legacy. Why was Pre Innistrad Legacy great? All banless modern. Everything banned? No banless standard. <laughs> standard is a bit off brand for 90s MTG. Yeah, I know you're being sarcastic. It's okay. Depths? Oh, yeah. Depths in modern. Yeah. Uh, let's run this guy out. Oh, okay. so good. Uh, pass. Going to draw for turn. Yep. Jebediah wants more vintage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no ban list standard would be kind of wild, actually. There's like eight cars banned in standard right now that are staples in uh, eternal formats and uh, non-rotating formats. No Delver, Gristlebrand, Snapcaster, Terminus. Yeah, but what was great about... what? Why do people keep getting stuck on pre Innistrad Legacy as like some kind of really special time? Why was it better than what we have Sorry, just after Innistrad? You're good, dude. No banless standard is just legacy? <laughs> Maybe. I want to play a format where I can play the double face lands. How about that? Because I have those, and I haven't gotten a chance to play them yet, ever. Uh, not even once. Been dying to throw them down. In a life from the loom, targeting the Verdant Catacombs. Sure. Yeah, I've, I've been playing a, a bit of Historic here and there. Um, so little that, like, now. Crack this to dredge. Okay. Now hmm. I'm, like, gold or something. They degraded me so far down the, the ladder between months. Trade routes. Look at exploration, crop rotation. Hogak's going to hit hard. Play a first land for turn. Okay. 
I'll crack. I'll go to 18. Sure. Old school with seven modern era cards. That might be interesting. Get a trap. Yeah, suboptimal dredge. What's up, Jesse? Everybody say hello to Cast Haven in the chat. from the limb again, targeting catacombs and water log roof. Sure. All right. Then I'll play second land for turn. Yep. Then going to pass with two cards in hand. All right. Big attack coming here. All the format pillars of, that came after Innistrad. Yeah. I guess Innistrad was a big turning point in uh, Legacy's history. Innistrad block. At least to people that keep insisting on playing pre Innistrad Legacy. <laughs> I wasn't active uh, playing Magic during the first Innistrad block, unfortunately. So I wasn't there, which is why I'm asking. Thinking about attacks here. All right, beats. Yeah. Yeah, no effects. All right, take 13. I'm sorry, take 11. All right, I'm at 7. Uh, I'll pass. In a turn, I'm going to crack this and yep. dredge. Yep. Bolt, Wasteland, Oka. Not a very good dredge. Okay, I'll go to my turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, it's just a, an turn. auto mod side order. It's a bot. The first land drop. Yep. <laughs> a crack. I'll go to mm -hmm. six. Sure. A tiger. Another tiger. So the dredges have not been great, but we might see Uro flashbacked here. Earl's pretty good. It's more diverse, but not better. Okay. No, Again, escape Uro. I'm, I'm asking because I wasn't playing during Escaping original. Escaping Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Someone's coughing. Um, I came back to Magic at least like playing consistently and playing like at my local shop and stuff like that with a uh, Tarkir block. Before that, I was on a pretty long hiatus from Magic, so I didn't get to experience Legacy prior to Innistrad, uh, the first Innistrad block. So I don't really have nostalgia about this, that very specific point in time. The ghost quarter. Sure. Like other than my staples I've picked up over the years uh, since I got back to playing, um, I have a stack maybe like this big of cards from 
Zendikar, original Zendikar block, uh, Mirrodin Besiege, New Frexia block, uh, Alara, Lorwyn. My stack of cards is like this. I have no cards from these. I just was not around. So it's interesting when people say pre Innistrad Legacy. I'm just like, I wasn't there. <laughs> but it sounds fantastic. I don't know. Okay. I have not used those legends. Um, okay, I'll pass. I got three cards in hand. Uh, in your end step, I'm going to cycle hollow one. Okay. What are the best sleeves right now, everybody? Are they Ultimate Guard Katana? Uh... Combat? Yeah. I'll attack with all of it. Katana are the best now? Is this like uh, what, the, what the Telerian Community College says? Or, or, or what? Okay. I'm going to... I've been using Dragon Shield Matt uh, for the last couple of years. But since uh, since COVID, I've just been using Ultra Pro draft sleeves. For I'm my gonna decks. blow this for one. Exploration down. Yeah. I'll trigger the Stitcher. Mm -hmm. Flip over a Blood Gas, a Force of Vigor, and a Street Wraith. Dragon yeah. Shield Matt. Okay. I block the Hogak with the arrow. Okay. Take four. I'll go to five. Uh, second main. Run out of Stitcher. Yeah. <laughs> Flip Dragon over Shield a Burden, a Stitcher, and a Street. Dragon Shield Mate. Okay. Uh, pass the turn. Umazawa's Mate. I'll draw for turn. Yep. Yeah, I've I've been uh I've been using Ultra Pros just because I'm I'm not even double sleeving my cars right now. I just don't care. I'm just playing at home, <laughs> and I'm I have like a no drinks within six feet of the uh of the board rule, so I don't really have much concerns. I trust myself with my cards. Nobody else is shuffling my decks. It's great. Playing Magic by yourself is great, everybody. I'm going to life from the limb, targeting the catacombs, and the blast zone, and the waterlogged grove. Okay. All right. Play first land for turn. I'll crack. Go to four. Getting low. I just want to shout out everybody watching who came from YouTube. I know many of you have found this channel through YouTube, and I appreciate all of you uh, subscribing on YouTube. We recently hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Appreciate all of you. Pretty new channel, so. All right, we're gonna escape Uro again. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Yeah, I just don't care, indicated. I'm evil. So, we'll go up to seven. We'll draw a card. Then... Thank you, Perfy. Thank you. Reseal the land and play. What the hell does that mean? Okay. I never heard of that. And then I'll wasteland the underground sea. And then I'll pass the turn. They have effects and upkeep. 
All right, now we're talking about per that perfect fits. Mm -hmm. okay. Come back. Yep. I'll block the Hogak. Take okay. five. <laughs> yeah. Thick feeling? Yeah. Uh, I'll pass with seven. I don't know why thick All right. two C's makes I'm me laugh. Can I keep this going? That's so funny. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to dredge. Here's a dredge. Max Diamond, Life from the Land, Glacial Chasm. All right, Glacial Chasm's pretty good. He's only at two life, though. He has a stage in play. Let's play Exploration. Yep. What do you call three socially awkward crows looking to get together? I, I don't know. The glacial chasm? Yep. All right, we're going to see glacial chasm Make here. first land drop for turn. Okay. The second land drop. Yep. There's a ghost quarter in play. Sack the riftstone portal. It's tap. All right these now. combos. <laughs> And then, let's see. An attempted murder. <laughs> quite enough for the burrow yet. Um, That's a good one, Sinorna. Then, also, Sinorna, I saw your tweet earlier today or last night. Uh, the last 24 hours have been a whirlwind, but... Uh, Really appreciate your kind words. Appreciate you, Side Norna. Thank you. Okay. Tabernacle, Bolt, Wasteland. Okay. And then I'll pass the turn with three. And I'm going to tap your swamp. Whoops. Uh, pass. I have to discard. Okay. Just go to Benjamin. Okay. I'm going to let this die. And then I'm going to dredge. Is it missing yep. from the deck? Misty, yeah, nice Valcut, Wasteland. Are you deterministic to have a Glacial Chasm on the board every turn for the rest of the game? Uh, I'm pretty much just going to keep on life from loaming it unless you have like instant speed stuff. Yeah, that, that's I what I mean, right? You're, you're deterministic to have it every turn. Pretty much, unless you okay. also somehow cast a ley line, I think. No, I'm, I'm cool I'm scooping it up back. if you're a deterministic. Okay. I'm going to get the tabernacle next turn, too. I, I think it's probably just a matter of time. I mean, at least not with, you know, a group of people. Buy a case of collector boosters? <laughs> All right, cycle. A case of collector boosters would be a treat for myself, right? You bought two collector boxes, will not be opening one. So you're going to you're gonna save one, like stash it? Ledger, are you suggesting singles? I don't even know what singles to buy. Do I just buy like four opposition agents, four hull breachers, and call it a day? The set just looks so cool, though. Like, I want to get, like, other stuff, but I don't know what. A treat is $10,000 or more? I don't know about that one. Set seems too large to buy boxes. Go singles. Okay. That's just a casual MTG buy. Okay. You stash one of every box in the closet. So you just have like a whole bunch of sealed boxes of all sets in your closet, Finn Dorsal? That's pretty sick. All right. Huge on crab going off here. I just don't know what to get. Like I was, I was like browsing uh, today. I think I'm in the market to crack this. Okay. <laughs> He's in the market. Uh, I was browsing today at like, you know, do they have set boosters? Do they have collector boosters? Do they have regular boosters? What are there pre-constructed decks? What are the products that come with the set? I have no idea what to get. No idea what I want. Oh, was there a proxy? If there was, I missed it. I'll ask. Yeah, that's true. Look over a root wall once upon a time in Avengervine. 
Yeah. What was the uh, proxy? We, we missed what that was. Oh, I couldn't find my fourth Verdant Catacombs in time, sifting oh, okay. through my cards, so I just made a proxy. Okay, cool. No problem. Uh... All right. So the, the proxy was a um, Verdant Catacombs. Buy a box and then let's stream Commander Legends sealed. Yeah, you know, like, I don't know. We, okay. Everybody watching right now, would you watch Commander Legends sealed? Would you would you be interested in watching that if we did that? Because I don't I don't want to buy a box and set up a whole stream to do Commander Legend sealed, and we got like four people watching. That <laughs> I want to know that people want to watch that, and I don't know if they do. It does look super fun. I agree. I agree. I would watch it, but would you watch it? I I have no idea. Maybe I'll put that in a Twitch poll of some kind. I don't know. I don't even know how to decide what to do there. Wait. Uh, it needs color, right? Or you can delve black, the color. Or... Black, green. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then four off the rest of it. Or I'm sorry, five off the rest of it. Yeah, so convoke colors are coming from the root yeah. wallet on the putridim. Okay. I'll hit you for four. Um, let me think about this. Cards in hand? Gonna need that glitch. I have one card already. The Pachuca bog was not there. This Hogak deck just goes mm. off, like in severe fashion. <laughs> Are people saying hell no that they wouldn't watch Commander Legends? Seal? On a Sixteen. Your town has had three Just fires in four years. Sure, you. Sure amp. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, maybe we just play off. Many cards I don't you know. have in hand? Sorry. I have no idea. I have one card left. <laughs> a hard pass. Four. That's fair. I, I appreciate four, the feedback. 4-4, four. Four, four, yeah. I appreciate the feedback. I would want to know if people want to watch that or not. But I think I think the 90s MTG audience is here for constructed formats. Fine. I'll go to 16. It's on you. <laughs> Raking the forests. I'll draw. That has to be the top three stupidest things he's ever he's ever said. Hey, hey no. So Sarah says, "Hey, I was curious on the deck list for the Gak deck. The stream decker says six Misty Rainforest and doesn't have all the sideboard cards. What? Well, the sideboard is obfuscated, so you can't see quantity. But how does it have six Misty Rainforests?" What the hell? I don't know. That's weird. What's up, Jeff? Don't tune every week, but we'd be less likely to tune in if we did limited of any kind. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with you. I'm with you. Got to get the leaves, yeah. I'll pass. All right, there's Merit Lage, basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair side, Norna. Uh, we're swinging out. Pump the root wall here for lethal. So root wall, so that's four. Yeah, no altars in this deck, 12. Jeff. How's it going, Jeff? How are you? Good to see you. Okay, I'll crack. I'll go to fifteen. Cool. Yeah, it must be it must be uh, an error with the list, but I'm I'm sure he's just running another fetch. Then okay. I'll make the merit ledge. Yep, you got it, man. Good games. You're conceding. Uh, I can't kill you this turn, and you kill me on the swing. Yeah. I think so. if you kept the future dent to block, no. You can't block. Uh, I I I I don't have flying unless I have threshold. And it can't block. Uh, 
Creature Den can't block, Isn't right? It? No, it's discard you get flying, and if it has threshold, then it can't block. Oh, did I only have five cards in my yard? Probably. All right, yeah. cool. Another punt on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the games, man. <laughs> this is a good one. GG's. Yeah, so, it would have um, been close either way. 